Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Okay. So in our uh, previous videos, okay, we discussed about the views and functions and different types of data types, okay, uh, and um, uh, built-in functions and all, okay. If you haven't watched that video, so we have a video series, okay. So from starting to end, we have a video series. Today, we are going to discuss about the stored procedures case, okay, stored procedures, okay. So now what is the stored procedure, okay. Stored procedure is nothing but a group of, okay, group of TSQL. TSQL means transact SQL statements case, okay, transact SQL statement, like where you have a situation to write the query, uh, same again and again, okay, where you have a situation to write a query over again and again. So we'll take, we'll save that query in a procedure and then, okay, and then we'll create a procedure and then we'll call that procedure case, okay. So stored procedure, like suppose stored process in that create procedure, procedure name, okay? Whatever you create this, okay? So whenever I, uh, when I explain the create uh, command, so create table, table name, create view, view name, create function, function name, create procedure, procedure name, okay? So create procedure, procedure name, okay? Let me write simple one case, okay? Don't uh, go with the syntax and all, okay? Let me go with the simple one, okay? So create, suppose, create, so you can write procedure or proc, okay? Anything is fine, guys, okay? <clears throat> Even proc also you can write, okay? So while creating procedure and procedure name, okay? SP, okay, you can uh, specify SP is in small letter, okay? So SP implies, okay? So if, if it is user, okay? So we have a two different types of uh, system uh, uh, procedures, like uh, one is a user-defined stored procedure and another one is a system-defined stored procedures, okay? So, but whatever we are creating, that is a user defined stored procedures. Okay. So, like that is the reason. So, you means user and the naming convention should be clear, guys. Okay. So, underscore, okay, USP underscore, and then implies details. Okay. Imply details. Okay. Imply underscore details. Something like that you can keep as. Okay. As. Okay. And then begin end okay begin end begin and end so in between you will write the some query that is that's it okay stored procedure means okay we can okay this is the simple stored procedure but in real time we can have a 500 to thousands of lines but simple i'm saying okay so what is um you know um stored procedure and all you don't think too much okay so if you understand this okay select okay select Start from TBL employee something. Okay, you can take any employee. So just uh, take a TBL employee. So let me execute this query. So what we have? Okay, so we have this query. Okay, so where you have a situation to write the same query again and again. Okay, you can. Okay, you can uh, save that in the. You can create a pro stored procedure and then you can uh, call it is. Okay, but so what is the difference between view and stored procedure? Even view also it's a saved select query, right? So what is the difference between view and stored procedure? Okay, yes, we have a lots of differences. Just I'm giving you the simple one. Okay, we'll discuss when we will go for a view and when we will go for a stored procedure and when we will go for a function and all. Okay, end of after completing the stored procedure uh, concepts, we'll discuss when the in detail guys. Okay, when we have to go to stored procedure and okay we have a lot of uh, benefits we have by using stored procedure for now i am creating this one guys okay very simple okay simple one okay so to execute the stored procedure guys okay you can uh, so where it is created and all if you want to see okay you can go to a database okay so our database is sample database right so you can go to the sample database programmability okay so in programmability so there is a stored procedure okay just refresh that stored procedure and then you can go here. So whatever the stored procedure you have created, you can find there. Okay. So stored procedure. Okay. So this is the stored procedure. Employee details. Okay. USB employee details is our stored procedure. Okay. To execute that. Okay. So you can. Okay. You can go here and then you can use the exit keyword and then. Okay. Just to execute it. Okay. Just to select this. And then click on execute. Okay. So it will give the results. Otherwise, just you can select only this one and then uh, click execute. Okay, so this will execute. Otherwise, you can okay, or else you can go with the execute. Okay, execute full command. Okay, and then you can 
click on execute okay that way also it will execute always you can go with the graphical way okay you can go here and then okay you can click here and then okay so there is a execute procedure okay so here is the execute procedure is button is there so just go here and then click on execute button okay just go here and then click on execute button okay these ways okay these many ways okay here we don't have parameters okay so if you have a parameters you can pass the parameters here and then click okay but we don't have a, we have created very simple one case okay we have created very simple one okay so that is the reason there is no parameters so to to understand like what is the stored procedure just have given one simple one simple stored procedure so to execute like that also so these many ways we can execute case okay simply you can select this and then execute button or else you can uh, keep exec or execute button and then execute through graphical way also you can execute okay hope you are clear how to create a stored procedure and then call the stored procedure okay so if you want to okay let me create a procedure okay so what is the topic next so we'll see the so first one is the with example and then so uh, to execute the stored procedure so we can go we can uh, a, a sp name sp and a stored procedure name and then press execute button and then click execute okay so click uh, uh, execute sp name and then so then so graphical way also this v4 completed and then create a uh, stored procedure with parameter name guys okay create a stored procedure name with parameter name okay let me create a stored procedure with parameter name okay okay so let me so otherwise we can go with the new query also we with new window and we will create that so let me uh, take that uh, select okay we have one table okay that um, uh, tbl uh, employee underscore uh, by department is table is there so we have there uh, employee id name gender and department id okay i want to create the uh, parameter on okay gender and department id parameter means user can uh, provide the results okay user can provide the uh, results gender uh, okay whatever the gender you want to and so in in this department id so who are the males and who are the females and you want to specify you want to provide the values then we can go with the parameters okay let me create that parameter with the parameter case okay stored procedure with the parameter okay again so create procedure okay prop or procedure procedure name okay uh, so the same name we'll try to keep it but so you have to specify usp in a small letter okay usp okay user defined stored procedure okay usp and naming convention is naming convention is very very important you should not use okay without you without you you cannot use sp underscore uh, system defined function guys okay why because so these are the microsoft will use the this uh, con, uh, this naming convention sp underscore okay so tomorrow if they create the same uh, stored procedure there is a compatibility issue okay that is the reason microsoft is especially said that don't specify sp okay sp uh, name as a prefix okay use your own prefix that is u underscore okay u underscore means user defined stored procedure okay u underscore this one and then after so you can specify the parameters okay what are the parameters we are trying to uh, do that gender okay so gender where care okay gender data type. what is gender data type where care 20 and then comma next department id okay at the rate department id guys okay at the rate department okay we are declaring right so department id is integer and then after you have to write as and then begin okay begin okay begin and be, begin end okay so you, your select statement should be in okay between begin and end okay begin and end so again you have a parameters right so where class in where class you have to specify the parameter okay gender is equal to gender okay gender equal to at the rate gender okay so whenever user pass some gender value male so it will go it will uh, come here a uh, gender place okay guys so whenever user pass the parameter value so in where class that parameter values comes uh, automatically dynamical way and uh, so department id is equal to okay department id equal to at the rate department okay 
So this is about the parameter. Okay, these are the input parameter. So stored processor will have the. So it's same like a function, right? So what is the difference between function and stored processor? Even function will have the parameters. Okay, so then what is the difference? Okay, so stored processor will have the input parameter and output parameter. So we'll discuss about these are the input parameter. If you don't specify in or out, okay, it, here you can specify in. Uh, in or out, okay, something like that. Input parameter and output parameter. So if you don't specify, that is will be the input parameter. Okay, we'll discuss in detail. Okay, what is output parameter and all. Okay, for now we are creating this one, guys. Okay, just click here and then. So it's already ex uh, existed. So just let's drop this stored procedure. Okay, let's drop that. Okay, drop. Uh, it's already existed. So that is the reason. Drop procedure again, guys. Okay, proc or procedure. Okay, proc or procedure. Okay, and then you can drop. Okay, so that way you can drop and then so just create it. Okay, let me create it. So it's created. Okay, execution completed. Now, how to call? Okay, we have a parameters now. Okay, so we have a parameters. Select this. Okay, if you execute directly, it will not execute. Okay, why? Because it has the parameters. Okay, let me execute it. Okay, so it will not execute. Why? Because it has a parameters. Okay, so parameter gender is there. So you have to provide the values. Okay, you have to provide the values, guys. Okay, you can keep uh, exit. Okay, exit, and then so let me remove this, guys. Okay, let me remove this. Otherwise, you can copy into this uh, uh, this area. Okay, so paste it here, and then go here, and then exit. Okay, so you have a parameter. How? What is the parameter? First one, gender. Okay, if you um, provide gender, some uh, male. Okay, male. And then department ID, what one? Okay, you can specify that. And then now execute it. Okay, now execute it. So you are getting the results. Who are there in the mail in department one? Okay, who are there? Uh, department two males. Okay, okay, and females. Okay, so if you want to write females, then execute it, guys. Okay. So this way we can get, okay, this way we can get, okay. If suppose, if you uh, like uh, order, if you change order, okay, suppose uh, department ID first and then uh, department uh, gender name is Allah, something like that, okay. If you specify male like this, okay, how it will execute, okay, we'll see that, okay, either it is executed or not, okay. So no, it is not executing, why? Because, so the convention error, so this is the, okay, the first parameter is the where care and the second parameter is the integer, but so we, uh, so, Order uh, different ways, okay. Different ways. So instead of that, you can go like this, okay. So gender is equal to you can specify order is not required then, okay. If you specify the gender is equal to, okay, gender is equal to um, male and uh, uh, department ID is equal to two, okay. So that time don't require any order case. This way we can execute, okay. So at the right department, sorry, okay. This way we can execute. Uh, I think bracket required so far that let me open it. Okay, execute. What department ID is not correct? Sorry, so sorry guys. Or not department ID, it's a de department. Okay, so let me. So bracket required or not? Okay, bracket is not required. Just execute it. Okay, so, so this time you don't require any order. But so if you uh, like, if you don't specify order, like uh, so the order should be how you declared in your stored procedure. It should follow that order. Otherwise, it will not execute. Okay, if you want to execute graphically this time, okay, so graphically this time, if you go here and then execute stored processor, this time it will ask the parameter values case, okay. So you have to provide the values and then execute it, okay. So that way you can execute, okay. So you can provide the values and then you can execute it. That way you can execute it. So what are the next one? So altering the stored procedure, okay. So now, so viewing the text and then altering the procedure, okay. If you want to alter anything, suppose, so here I want to add the column, something like that. Okay. So I don't want to go with the star, something like that. You can go. Okay. How we are. So even when we are discussing about the alter, okay. Alter procedure, procedure name. Okay. 
So you cannot, uh, you know, you cannot uh, use the create command and then you cannot give the columns, okay? ID, okay, name. So again, it's already existed, right? So suppose I want only two columns, okay? Two columns. And then uh, if I try to execute it, so it's already, it says already it's existed. So okay, you cannot do that, okay? If you want to alter, okay, if you want to change the definition of that uh, stored procedure, again, you can go with the alter case, okay? So you can go with the alter and then you can execute from here, okay? Otherwise, okay, from here also you can right click, okay? So if you don't want to write that alter command from your end, okay, you can go a script stored procedure and then you can go and alter in a new query editor window. It will create an alter, okay? It will give a, create a alter, okay? And also if you want to see the script of your stored procedure, just right click and then, so go with the create and so whatever the scripts you have created, the same script it's come, okay? okay. And also if you don't want to remember all this syntax and all, again, so you can uh, right click on the stored procedure and then, okay, so sorry, new and then click on stored procedure, okay? So remove this uh, template, uh, this one, okay? So create other, so in real time, so they will maintain like who is created and what is the date and what is the description of the stored procedure and everything they will maintain in a comment case, okay? So in real time, they will maintain very clearly, okay? So if there is any modification, so modified by something will come, okay? Modified will be something will come and then they will add the modifications also, okay? So if for now, we don't require, so you will get confused, right? So that is the reason I'm removing. And then here is this procedure name, okay? SP name here, okay? So these are the parameter names, okay? Parameter one and parameter two, Okay, you can specify and then uh, data type name, guys. Okay, so parameter name and parameter uh, what data types? Okay, parameter and then parameter data types you have to specify. Okay, so again, so you don't want to remove. Okay, so you if you you get confused. Okay, I'm just removing this, right, guys? Okay, so parameters are optional again. Okay, parameters are not mandatory. If you want to add the parameters, yes, you can add the parameters. Okay, this is the syntax and the set command should be on, okay? That we'll discuss the advantages, why, why the set command should be on and all, okay? Here your select statement or insert statement or delete statement, everything, okay? Whatever you can do in a SQL, like all commands, guys, okay? Insert all DML commands, all functions and everything we can use in a end and begin black, okay? We can use in a end and begin black, okay? Stored procedure is a powerful topic in a uh, SQL, guys, okay? So this way we can create, hope you understand. So how to create the stored procedure, okay? So don't think too much about the stored procedure. Wow, stored procedure, don't think like that, okay? It's a very simple, look, okay, guys? So this is, that is the way to alter. Now, how to drop the stored procedure? So just now we have done, right? How to drop the stored procedure and all, okay? So tomorrow in uh, tomorrow video, like uh, tomorrow video, we'll discuss like what is the output uh, parameters, okay? So function will uh, accept only input parameters, not output parameters case, okay? You stored procedure will accept the input parameters and output parameters, okay? We'll discuss about the output parameters, how it will accept and all, okay? We'll see in the tomorrow video. So in stored procedure, we almost have the three to four videos case, okay? Three to four videos, okay? So we'll discuss in detail, okay? If you, um, see if someone gives the stored procedure in your company, so you have to, uh, you, you can able to uh, do that guys, okay? So after watching these videos, you can able to understand like what is the stored procedure, how they have written and all, you will understand everything, okay? Hope you like the video. Please uh, like and uh, share and subscribe my uh, channel if you haven't subscribed for more videos guys, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much.